Hey everybody, this is Mr. Mathblog. This lesson is solving two-step equations. So here's our common core strand for our groovy teachers. And our question is, how do we solve these two-step equations? Two-step means we do more than one step. You know, instead of adding or subtracting or just dividing, we add or subtract first and then divide uh, afterwards or multiply afterwards. So anyways, we're going to use some uh, algebra tiles to model and solve 3n plus 2 equals 11. Okay, so remember, here's our key right here. So these are going to be our, our positive variables. These will be our negative variables. So we'll do three of these for the 3n, and we'll do, these are our, our plus one, so we'll do plus, uh, two plus one tiles, and over here we'll do 11 um, uh, plus one tiles also, okay? All right, so here's the model that represents that. So here's our, our uh, 3n plus 2. And then remember, this, this is equal. So equals, there's 11 of these guys here, okay? And then so let's go ahead and remove two of the plus one tiles from both sides. So as long as we do it to both sides, I'm going to take out those two so they're gone right there. So now we're going to divide each side into three equal groups. So there they are right there. So if it, so, this tells me right here that, that 1x equals 3 or this 1x equals 3 or sorry, n or this n equals 3. So uh, that's our answer right there. So the solution is n equals 3. Okay, let's try that with these guys right here. So here we're going to uh, do 2x plus 5 equals 11. So what I'm going to do is take, um, I'll do two of these pluses for the 2x right here. See, now right here I'll do uh, four of the minus variables right here. So these will be our plus uh, x's right here. So I'm just going to grab two of those. Let me move that out of the way. So here's one, one, two, okay, and then... Uh, we got to add 5 in there, so I'm going to go ahead and add 5. So 1, oh, so, oh, wrong side. So 1, so there's our 2x, 2, and I think I got to go, uh, let me go a little bit more. 1, 2, sorry, uh, 3, 4, and then we'll do one more, 5. I think I'm going to do it, uh, let's see, what did I do here? So... Uh, okay, I did it on top right there. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna add put this guy right here, and then we're gonna do 11 on this side. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do here's one, two. I want to make them I want to make them equal going across right here, so I can I can take away stuff on both sides. So here's another one. So let me just jump ahead right here. So there they are. So there's here's um. Here's 2x plus 5 equals 11. So now what I'm going to do is take away these 5 plus 1 tiles. So I'll take away these 5 plus 1 tiles, and we're, we're left with uh, that right there. And then we separate those up into equal groups. So here's our x right here. So we can either say this x equals 3 or this x equals 3. It doesn't matter. But once we get them up into equal groups, we can say x equals 3. Okay, let's do this for 3n minus 1 equals 8. So I'm going to take, um, I'm going to do three of these. So for the plus variables, three of these. And then we'll do the minus 1 equals 8 of those. Okay, so there I did that right there. Okay, so here is a 3n minus the 1 equals 8 right there. Okay, now I can't take away a minus uh, on here because I don't have a minus over here. So I'm going to add a minus over here. So to balance it out, I'm going to add an additional plus sign right here. So I'm adding 0 to this side right here. Okay, so that's that right there. Can you see that this is just 0 right here? So now I have a minus sign. So I can take this one off and take this one off. And so we'll, we'll be left with that right there. And then we can separate those up into equal groups. And so here we have, and this variable is, is n, so n equals 3 right there. Okay, let's do this next one right here. So 2a minus 3 equals um, equals negative 5. So we're going to take two of these. So I'll put two of these over here. One, two. Okay, and then we'll do, uh, we're going to do, since it's minus 3, I'm going to do three of these for the minus 3. So, so we'll do 1, 2, 3. And if, I, if I'm if i doing it consistently, I want to do it the same on the other side. Let me peek ahead right there. No, I did it on the bottom. Okay, so that's going down here. So I want to do a, a minus 5 over here. So you can see that right there. So there's a, a 
2a minus 3 equals minus 5 right there. And I'm going to take away three of these red guys. So let's take away three of these red guys right there. And if we do that, we're going to get that right there. And then we've got to make them into equal groups. So I'm just going to slide this guy right down here. Okay, so, so we get that. And then we're going to separate those up into equal groups. So that tells us Okay, so here's our here's our a a equals negative one because there's only one negative tile, so a equals negative one. Okay, now this one here, you guys, this one with the negative four y, you guys, we're gonna have to do uh, negative four y. We're gonna have to do four of these negative guys right here, and then we're gonna do two positive guys right here equals equals this negative two. Okay, so you'll see I did that right there. All right, now before before I can subtract off these two positive guys, there's got to be two positive guys over here. So I'm going to add an additional two negative guys right here to balance it out. So we're just going to add zero right there. Okay, and then we can take away the two positive guys. And so let's just uh, now group them into equal groups right there. So we get negative y. Okay, this says negative y because it's in y. Negative y equals negative 1. So if negative y equals negative 1, then that means um, uh, that if we change the signs on both sides, we're going to get positive y equals positive 1 right there. So y equals 1. All right, so most of the time, almost always, we don't use algebra tiles. It's just an introduction um, to show you how come equations work right here. So we can use inverse operations to solve equations with more than one operation. So just think when we're solving equations, you guys, we use PEMDAS backwards or order of operations backwards, okay? So we do the addition and subtraction first, and then we do the um, uh, multiplying and dividing after we do the addition and subtraction, okay? So uh, books don't say that, but that, that's what we're doing. So here, dog sled driver added more gear to the sled, doubling the weight. So if the weight was W, then we're going to double it and make it 2W. So this felt too heavy, so the uh, so the uh, the driver that should say driver removed 20 pounds to reach the final weight of 180 pounds. So write and solve an equation uh, to find the sled's original weight. So we're going to do uh, 2w because he doubled the weight, 2w, and we're going to remove the 20 pounds equals 180. Okay, now we always solve equations by doing order of operations backwards. Okay, sorry, you can't see that here. So we're going to do the order of operations backwards. So we're going to do this minus 20. We're going to do the inverse and go plus 20, plus 20. Okay, so let's do that real quick. Okay, slide that up, plus 20, plus 20, and we 180 plus 20 is 200, and the 20s cancel, so now we do the division now. So we divide both sides by 2, and W equals 100. Always answer the question. So the sled's original weight was 100 pounds, okay? So describe how we can uh, find the original weight of the sled using only arithmetic, okay? So we had the minus 20 on there, and compare this method with the uh, method we used in example 2, okay? So here's example 2, the dog sled, um, sled driver added more gear to the sled, doubling the weight, so it's 2W, and it felt too heavy, so the driver removed 20 pounds. So what we're going to do is, is start at 180, and we're going to add 20 pounds, and it's going to be double the weight. So we'll divide it by 2. So work backwards. We can start with the final weight of 180, adding 20, and then divide by 2, uh, and then re, uh, divide that by 2. And then so here's our equation, 180 plus 2 is 200. 200 divided by 2 is 100. So these are the same operations that we applied in the order when we solved the equation. So remember, we do order of operations backwards when we're solving equations. So here we go. So the Wilsons have triplets and another child who is 10 years old. The sum of the ages of their children is 37. How old are the triplets? Okay, well the triplets are all the same age because they were born on the same day. So it's going to be 3x and then plus the 10 year old equals 37. So we're going to first subtract 10 on both sides. So 3x equals 27. So x equals 9. So each of the triplets are 9 years old. Okay, let's do the next one. 5 less than the quotient of a number. Quotient means division or fraction. The quotient of a number, we'll call it x, and 4, so x over 4 uh, equals 15. Now it says 5 less than, so 5 less than is going to be something minus 5. So something minus 5 is going to be my 
x over 4 minus 5 equals this 15. Okay, our, our oven is just uh, clued in. It told me that what, uh, I'm getting ready for dinner soon. So anyway, uh, it's in the afternoon, late afternoon, so I'm cooking dinner. So my wife's at work. All right, so here we go. So here's the quotient of our number and 4. 5 less than is minus 5 is 15. Okay, so let's get rid of this minus 5 first. Okay, we got to do the minus and pluses first when we're solving equations because we do the uh, order of operations backwards. So plus 5 plus 5, and we get x over 4 equals 20. Now it's x divided by 4, so we do the inverse of divided by, which is multiply. So we're going to multiply by 4, and we get x equals 80. So answer the question, what's the number? The number is 80. Okay, all right, so to convert the temperature from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius, we first subtract 12, then multiply that result by 5 ninths. Okay, so an outdoor thermometer shows a temperature of minus 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, what's the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit? Okay, so okay, we'll just call it X for Fahrenheit. So I'm just following these directions. If X is our degrees in Fahrenheit, then it's going to be X minus 12. Then multiply, so I'm going to put parentheses around the x minus 12 and put 5 ninths here, equals this degree Celsius right here. So there it is right there. Okay, now to get rid of this um, uh, uh, order of operations, um, uh, we don't do the parentheses first. We do the, uh, the addition, or I'm sorry, we do the multiplication and division first. Okay, so here's some parentheses, so we, don't, we do this last. So we've got to get rid of this 5 ninths first. So we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, which is 9 fifths. Okay, so both sides by 9 fifths. Okay, and then, uh, okay, so these 9s are going to cancel. These 5s are going to cancel. We're just left with x minus 32. Okay, and then over here, 5 goes into negative 10, negative 2 times. So we get that. Okay, so 9 times negative 2 is negative 18, so we're going to plus 32 to both sides. We get x equals 14, so answer the question. So the temperature was 14 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? All right, so an airplane flies at an altitude of 38,000 feet. As it nears the airport, the plane begins to descend at a rate of 600 feet per minute. So, sorry, Lucy's playing and catching the ball, so she slid into the wall. <laughs> So 600 feet per minute. So we'll go M for minutes, you guys. So 600 M, and it starts at 38,000. So it's going to be 38,000 minus 600 M. And then at a rate, how many minutes will it take the plane to get to 18,800? So let M equal the number of minutes that it gets to that right there. So there's our equation. Okay, so now um, uh, we don't do this first because this is a multiplication. 600 M is 600 times M. So we got to get rid of this 38,000. So we're going to subtract 38,000, subtract 38,000. And when we do that, we get uh, negative 600 M equals negative 19,200. Divide both sides by negative 600. And we get M equals 32. Of course, answer the question, what does M equal? The number of minutes. So the plane will take 32 minutes to descend to 18,800 feet. All right, let's try a couple more, you guys. Okay, so remember, our formula is to subtract 32 and multiply it by um, uh, 5 ninths. So we're going to do... Uh, uh, the negative 20 equals 5 ninths. Notice I left a space there because I'm going to take that and multiply both sides by the reciprocal times x minus 32. Okay, 5 goes into negative 20, negative 4 times. 9 times negative 4 is negative 36. Plus 32 to both sides, we get uh, negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, don't just write negative 4. Always try to answer the question in the context of the problem, okay? All right, one more. Jenny earned 92 of a possible 120 points on a test. So she lost four points for each wrong answer. So how many uh, uh, incorrect answers did she have? Okay, so 120 minus four times each wrong answer gave her her score. So let's subtract 120 from both sides and we get negative 28. So negative four goes into negative 28 seven times. So she gets seven wrong answers. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. And, and take care and be nice to your teacher.